society platform for eminent authors engaging teachers successful students to know more email coefficient of correlation computation assumed mean this method is preferred when it is not possible to get the arithmetic averages of both the variables in whole or round numbers under this method the deviations of values of each of the variables are taken from an assumed average formula of coefficient of correlation using assumed mean r is equal to n sigma dx dy minus sigma dx into sigma dy root over n into sigma dx square minus sigma dx whole square into root over n into sigma dy square minus sigma dy whole square where dx is equal to deviation of x from assumed mean that is x minus x series assumed mean dy is equal to deviation of y from assumed mean that is y minus y series assumed mean sigma dx is sum of the deviation of x series from its assumed mean sigma dy is equal to sum of deviation of y series from its assumed mean sigma dx square is equal to sum of squares of the deviation of x series from assumed mean sigma dy square is equal to sum of squares of deviation of y series from assumed mean sigma dx dy is equal to sum of the product of deviation x and y series from assumed mean example compute carl pearson coefficient of correlation taking 79 and 132 as the average for rainfall and rice production variable respectively by shortcut method the table shows the first row shows the rainfall and the second row shows the rice production these values are put in the table in the first column the rainfall the second column shows the deviation from assumed mean that is 79 so that is dx division of x variable from the assumed mean the sec third column shows the dx square that is square of the deviation from assumed mean of x series the next column shows the rice production from the table from the data given the next column shows the deviation from assumed mean of 132 that is dy the the, the, the next column dy square shows the dy square that is the square of the deviation from assumed mean the last column shows the product of dx and dy that is deviation of x series into division into y series the last total shows the sum total of each of the respective column so here r is equal to putting the value uh, in we get uh, 8 into 16 n is 8 into sigma dx dy is 191696 minus sigma dx is th minus 33 into sigma dy is minus 52 divided by root over n into dx square minus sigma dx whole square that is n is 8 and sigma dx square is 1335 minus sigma dx whole square that is so 33 whole square minus 33 whole square into root over 8 that is n is 8 into sigma dy square that is 2348 minus d sigma dy whole square so minus 52 whole square so in the next step we compute the values now that we get 13568 minus 1716 in the denominator we get the square root of the 10680 minus 1089 into 
18789-27404. So we get the numerator 11852 and then the denominator square root of 9591 into 16080 is equal to 11852 divided by 12418.66 that is the square root of the denominator. This comes to 0.95. So this is a value quite near to 1 and is positive. So there is a perfect positive correlation between the two variables. Thank you for watching the video. Kindly write your comments. Click on the red subscribe button at the bottom of the video to get more details and free ebook email us.